Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, how to break and wrap pu'er cakes. In this video, we're gonna be doing a real quick one, just showing you how to break into pu'er cakes and how to wrap them up for storage. This video is gonna go under the Tea Masterclass playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are gonna come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go click that button. As I said, this is going to be a super quick one. I'm here with Celine, Hello. our resident poor tea cake wrapper. <laughs> uh, we have um, a cake of Bloom Buster here. We've done videos on this tea already before, so I'm not going to talk about it, but you're welcome to take a look at this product. It's a really nice Lao Banjang Sheng Pua 2016. So we're going to show you how to use a tea pick like this and a tea inspection tray like this in order to break into pour cakes and then immediately afterwards we're going to show you how best to wrap your pour cake up so that you can keep it nicely for storage without making any mess. Mm -hmm. Ready to go? Yeah sure okay I'm not a professional but I just started doing this because I have a few pour cakes and it's like when when you open it and you don't wrap it up, it just goes all over the place and it's just really annoying. Yeah, it can make so, quite a mess. Yeah. It can make quite a mess. So it's, it's useful. It is useful to wrap it and, up. And, you know, it is, it's one of those things that takes a little bit of practice. Yeah. Um, but uh, you've had a fair amount of practice now. Yeah. She's yeah. good at it. She's good at it. <laughs> it may not be as pro as some of the people that you, uh, yeah. that you see in China where they can wrap a cake like in... Army style. Yeah, like, doo, 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 doo. They can wrap them <laughs> super quickly and amazingly neat. But yeah. you know, we do our best to explain it to you. So we're gonna bring the camera around and I'm gonna show you how to break into this cake. So let's break open this Bloom Buster here. Let's open it. We've already, we've already had uh, some of this tea already. As you can see, it's already been broken into a little bit here. So here's my Pua pick. And this is a nice tea inspection tray, really, really useful to keep things neat. It's got a nice edge around it and it's got a little pouring corner you can see here that allows you to put the leaves into your teapot. Now, here's a very tightly wrapped pour cake. So this is the pour cakes have different levels of compression, but this one is quite tightly wrapped. Now, what you want to try to do is find the place which is the easiest um, or least resistance for your tea pick. So you need to look around your tea cake to find a nice little gap so I can see one just about here and you can see that when you put it in let me see if I can make sure it's in focus first before I do this you can see that when you put it in if you find a nice easy breaking point it slides in a little bit easier just doing a little rocking motion back and forth and if you feel like you're breaking too many leaves then stop come out and try and attack it from a slightly different angle you need to be patient with this, with pour cakes. You need to slowly leverage the leaves apart and find the area of least resistance. You can see once you find an area, it starts to go a lot quicker. Let's keep going. And make sure you don't just keep going in the same area. The, the leaves around the edge tend to be the loosest. So just go around there first, loosen them up, and it will naturally loosen leaves further in. So again, as soon as you feel that you're breaking it too much, then just move it around and then it will start to come. And you can also use your hands. So you can see here that this has started to come and I can now pull this directly off. Now I'm gonna put this cake aside. And Celine will show you how you're gonna wrap that in a second. But now I just wanna show you the real advantage of this tray here is that you can start to now get very geeky if you would like and start to sort your leaves out because there will be some broken leaves. You just start to pull, just gently leverage the leaves apart a little bit so that you get as many whole leaves as possible. Move them over to the side. Again, leveraging them all apart. They start to come apart really easily after a while and then you can move them to the side. You can keep going and you can spend, you know, five, 10 minutes just sorting through your leaves so that you have nice leaves for your session and you leave as much of the as much of the really small broken leaves aside you can cold brew those if you'd like 
It's a nice way to use up your uh, broken leaves. But the, the tea tray is a really nice way for you to inspect your leaves and also to sort them out. You can see how easy that is without making a mess. And then as I said, once you've sorted your leaves out, you've got this nice little area here that you can use to pour into your clay pot, guy one or glass pot. Okay, so I'm gonna pour these away here. And we'll save those for a brew in a second. And I'm gonna take this tea dust there's still lots of good leaves here. I'm not going to waste them before you write that in the comments. These are not going to be wasted, but I'm just going to put them away for a second here so that you can be given the masterclass <laughs> oh by Celine on how to wrap a poor cake. Now, it's much harder for you, isn't it, Celine? Because this one's already been broken into. Ah, yeah, sorry. But go for it. Show, okay, show so them how to do even it. Even if your paper is kind of broken, it's fine. Um, what I do is I put it this way around. So always, then... always um, with the, the little alcove here um, that you can see, always face side up. So you're putting the flat face down onto the wrapper. Indeed. And then whatever side you want to do, just start somewhere and hold, hold the cake a little bit in place with your first hand and then just fold over Okay, you do it and I'll, and, and at Can least you comment? I'll, I'll do the commentary. So it's about turning the cake and not moving around the cake. So turn the cake as opposed to um, trying to wrap around the cake. Um, and you know, the, the wrapper will already have been wrapped around your cake. So you should have pleats that are already there, which should naturally fall into place. But the key is to keep your, your hands quite still and stationary, not move them move the cake around and just um, really, you know, you're not making too many movements around the wrapper. So keep going until you get to the end. When you get to the end, it becomes a bit more complicated. Just try to wrap it up and squeeze it in and then turn it over and that should stay quite nicely for you. Do you want to do it one more time? Yeah, sure. There you go. Okay, so starting on one edge, you can see how you're just pulling the paper from the side. So the, the, you're just keeping your hand still and pulling the paper towards you and just twisting the cake every so often. Follow the pleats that are naturally there. Take your time. Don't pull too hard because it might rip the paper. <laughs> It's okay, there's no problem if you do. And then it gets a bit tricky towards the end. You see she just wrapped it up in the end just to give herself some space. And it's this part. Do you want to do that part again? Just a little bit slower, that last bit. So this bit, when you get to the end, I just pull both sides. Yeah, so pull both sides to make it flat. So you just grab this end like here. You can grab it here and push everything down there. And then you so put it's all, and then you can either flatten it over. But some people like to wrap this in, and, and then just really push it push inside it in. the inside the hole of exactly. the tea cake. And then always store it the other way around to that stop way. it from opening. And we advise you store it flat like that. Yeah. Well done. What a pro. Okay, guys. I hope that that was informative for you. And now you can break into your pua cakes and wrap them perfectly like a pro. That's it tea heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. Check out our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions or comments, then please fire them over. Other than that, I'm Don May. This is Celine from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from the tea bags. Keep drinking the good stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye.